I know I'm going to be outspent. I know there's going to be a lot of professional staff put in on the other side, and we're just going to keep powering through on, on volunteer power and that local support. As the Republican candidate for the 99th Assembly District seat, Colin Schmidt knows he's in for a tough run against Democratic incumbent James Skoufis. But this young man, while never having held elected office, has picked up plenty of local support with his grassroots alternative approach to politics. This is the county I grew up in, so I've, I've been able to really give my all to the community as the best I can from the very beginning. I went to public schools, graduated high school in Montgomery, went off, put myself through college down at Catholic University in Washington, D.C. During that time, I was disgusted that elected officials on both sides of the aisle were, and unfortunately they still are, exploiting every type of loophole in the book or just not caring what the laws, rules, and regulations were and doing whatever they wanted and true ethical lapses here in the state. And so I launched New Deal in New York and we went after even high-ranking members of my own party right here, even locally, a detriment to my potential private and, and, and public life. Because when you take on even your own party and you tell them, no, you're doing something wrong, most people aren't willing to do that. And uh, whether it be uh, anti-double dip campaign or various other ethics planks, job creation proposals we put out while still going through college and graduating college, that really opened my eyes to who was um, maybe a true believer when it came to public service and doing good for others and who was truly in it for what's the best for New York, what's the best for Orange County, what's the best for Rockland County, or who's just looking to make a quick buck or make the most bucks possible off of our backs. When it comes to the energy, we see it. When it came to raising money, we saw it. Colin is our candidate. I've had the great honor to pursue a couple of different courses of service to my community. It actually started just up the road from here in Goshen at former assemblywoman, now county clerk, Annie Rabbit's office. And while still in high school, I joined her staff as a volunteer, then worked my way up to intern, and then eventually it was legal to work in the state of New York. And uh, she brought me on as a legislative aide. And I got to work from the very beginning on pretty complex constituent services issues, which is, a, I think, a key component of any state legislative office. And obviously also intergovernmental affairs, legislative affairs. The folks who are most supportive are actually the older generation that I hit the doors on because they understand and they appreciate not only the energy and the ability every single day to be on 24 seven to serve all of my neighbors, all the, the general public in the district and across the state, but more importantly, they see that I've been blessed with experiences that most people have not got to experience, not only serving in the military, but even prior to serving in the military, overseeing our military affairs division here in the state of New York, overseeing all, all Homeland Security issues, overseeing you know, veterans getting legislation passed. Now, these are things that, again, people many times my age never even have been able to accomplish. Reporting from Chester, Jay Berkey for HVNN.com.